Hey guys, this is Aryan Tagore and you're watching Valatech and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can root your Moto G4 and G4 Plus. So without wasting any time, let's get started. In order to root your device, you need to download some files. So the files are given in the description below. So make sure to download them. Once you have downloaded the files, you will have these four files in the zip file. Now we need to run the setup for the minimal ADB and fast boot. Run as administrator and click next. I accept next, next, next. Just keep on pressing next and install. Once it's done, hit finish and copy the TWRP recovery file in the minimal ADB and fast boot folder. Once you have copied the recovery file, you must copy these two files in the same folder. Now once these two files get copied, we need to reboot our device to the fast boot mode. In order to reboot our device to fast boot mode, we need to power off our device. Once our device is powered off, now we need to boot into the fast boot mode. So press the volume down button and the power button simultaneously such that you will boot into the fast boot mode. Once our device is booted into fast boot mode, now we need to connect our device to our PC. We will have some kind of small icon right here now we need to open the window for the minimal adb and fast boot so double click the cmd here and you will have a window now we need to type fast boot devices so this command will search for the connected devices and it will be shown in the window right here you can see i got my device detected now we need to type the following command so the command is fastboot flash recovery followed in order to get your recovery name you just need to go to the file rename it and then copy the name and paste it in the minimal adb and fastboot once you have copied the name now don't forget to add .img after it Now once you have typed .img, now we need to hit enter and the recovery will be flashed on our device. Now once the recovery is flashed, we need to reboot to recovery. So in order to reboot to recovery, use the volume up and down key to locate the recovery mode. Once it's shown, just hit the power button and wait until our device reboots to the recovery mode. Now once we have rebooted into our recovery mode now we need to connect our device to our PC via the USB cable. Once we have connected our device make sure that our device is detected. Right here my device is detected. Now we need to go back to the minimal ADB and fastboot folder. In the folder we need to copy super user and the elemental x kernel file. Now copy it to the Once our files are copied, now we need to reboot back to TWRP. 
now in twrp we need to go to install section and locate our two files now we need to first flash elemental x kernel so click on it and swipe to confirm so the flashing process will begin now click next then yeah. i agree with the terms of use next okay and i'm gonna leave it to stock next swipe left next then i'm gonna change this to usb fast charge and click next now click install element lx and wait until it installs once it's installed click next finish once the element lx has been installed now we need to click on super user and flash it Once the super user file is successfully flashed, go to reboot section and system and do not install and let the device reboot the system. Now once our device is finally rebooted, you will not be able to see any kind of root app in your app draw. So we need to go to play store and search for PHHS super user. Now we need to install the PHH super user root manager. Once it's installed, now press the home button and you will see that you will get a super user manager in your app drawer now let's check whether our device is booted and here you can see that says super user request and it's up to you that you want to remember it forever or not so our device is properly rooted so thank you guys for watching the video hope you liked it if there is any trouble just comment it